everyone, today I'm really excited to show you a brand new instrument for Halion and Halion Sonic Navia Harp 3. This is a beautifully sampled harp and you can download it right now as we speak. I'm going to give you a very quick overview of how this instrument sounds like. This is from Sonic Atoms and after this I'm going to show you how to use it in the context of an arrangement. We're going to produce a dreamy orchestral piece with it and this is going to be the core element. First of all, let's play some sounds. It extends quite low as well. Very dynamic. As you can see, we have several controls here. So we have the attack that kind of allows you to make this sound like a pad. We have the release. We also have a filter here. with different filter types. We have a distortion, bit reduction. So you can get those interesting metallic noises out of this. Then we have a tape delay. A normal delay. Reverb, let's make it quite long, see how it sounds. And you will see that we also have a velocity curve selection, so you can change the velocity curve according to your playing or how you want the instrument to react. So it's a beautiful sounding instrument and we're going to use Navia Harp free today as our guide track for a short composition. And this is going to be loads of fun because I have another beautiful library here for Halion and Halion Sonic. This is the Medieval Phrases Fiddle and Nickel Harpa and I've prepared a part Let's listen to it and then we're going to start arranging. So as you can hear, beautiful sound. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep expanding this melody that we have from the fiddle and nickel harpa, and I'm going to play a new melody using Iconica Sketch. I'm using the first and second violins, and as you can see, I have them on the same patch, and I've set them apart one octave, so I get this beautiful lush violin sound. So let's carry on with the melody. First of all, what I'm going to try and do is try and establish a chord progression. I think, of course, I can start with a D minor, because it's very obvious that it's in D minor. Let's see. So what I'm doing next is I'm going from, I'm going to the sixth. So B flat, but I'm not playing the B flat on the bass just adding it right here. So instead of... And let's see. D minor. So this could be an A minor. D minor. 
I think here we can have a little bit more of an adventurous chord, so let's go back. So I'm using a B flat, which is the Neapolitan second. So basically what I'm doing is and I'm just adding the major seventh to make it a little bit more dreamy. So D minor, C major, B flat major. C and D. And you will see that I'm going to go away from my tonal center, which is D minor. We're going to go to A minor. E minor. G minor. This is very dark and allows my melody to expand quite a bit. So And then all of a sudden we're back to D minor. And here I'm using the Navia harp free to create those very kind of mythical vibes. You know, a little bit like a fairy tale. Let's do this. So before I go ahead and add more instruments, let's talk a little bit about what I did here to make this sound a little bit more open, a little bit more majestic. So to begin with, I start with the harp playing just very simple arpeggios. Then we have this chord that we talked about. have this glissando, which is a beautiful transition effect. The harp is one of the most effective transition instruments in the orchestra. So you can do you know, upwards glissandos, you can do these kinds of glissandos. So actually I'm going to start this piece with a glissando right here. And because we are in D minor, I'm making sure that all my B's are flat. Let's make sure that our glissando ends right here. So now we have a nice dreamy intro. Then when we go to the section where we have our violins, the key changes again and we go to A minor. That's what I had in mind. And then we go to 
G minor. And then we end up back to D minor. So these transitions between the different keys lets you make the sound a little bit bigger. But also what we're doing with the Navia Harp 3 here is I'm switching the actual arpeggios to triplets. So if you notice, what I started doing was this. So I give my piece a sense of urgency. I'm making it sound faster, even though we didn't change the tempo. So that's a really nice trick. If you want to make passages sound faster, just try and experiment with triplets and different values. So let's go now and start introducing a little bit of harmony with my violas here. So again, I'm using Iconica Sketch. So I'm going to start very quietly with a tremolo articulation. Then I'm going to play some basses and I'm going to double them with some timpani here, again from my Iconica sketch. So now what I've done here is I've added some timpani rolls and the timpanis. What I did with the timpanis is I'm making sure that these bass notes are enhanced with the timpanis attack. So, see I don't have low end on the timpanis, I've actually rolled it off, but the basses are very deep. So I'm complementing them with the attack from the timpani. So listen to this. Then we have the celli again. We're going to play the bass note here. I'm also going to use a second part for the celli for my divisis to play some counterpart melodies. So let's do this now. There you go, my friends. This is Navia Harp Free. Go get it. I hope you have as much fun with it as I did on this video making this track. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.